I took a songwriting class. Uh, so it was my sophomore year of college, and I saw it on this. I was trying to choose classes. I saw it on the syllabus, and I was like, "Oh, that's really cool." I was like, "I can like take, I can get credit in college to take a class on songwriting." I was like, "I listen to all these great songwriters. I was like, let me try it. You know, let me give yeah, that a yeah. shot. Like, you know, because I've been playing music since I was very young. Uh, I played saxophone when I was nine. Um, I sang when I was a lot younger, not super well, but I did it. You know, I had the experience anyway. Yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, I started fiddling around with the guitar when I was like 14 or 15 or something like that. Uh, and then I was like, all right, let me try writing. So I took this class and I very quickly realized like, oh, like I, I can do this. Like it, it came fairly easily. Yeah. Uh, to me, I was, and I loved it. Like, I really loved doing it. Like, That's awesome. Yeah, like the action of doing it. I was like, this is homework? You know, I was like, every week we had to write a song. I was like, I can't believe this is my homework. It's like, I have to go back to my dorm room and write a song. with yeah. Usually with a group of people, which was fun too. Like, you know, to collaborate. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was that class. But there's a specific instance in that class that was really interesting. And I, I think about it all the time still. So... The uh, professor of that class is a poet named Paul Muldoon. Um, he's an Irish poet. Um, he's a Pulitzer Prize winner. He's a great guy, really, really brilliant, really interesting guy. Um, and he ran the class. Um, the first, I took it three times, actually. Uh, the third Why time. Why not, right? The third time I just showed up. I wasn't like officially enrolled in it. I just like went to it. Just I, to be yeah, a part of it. Yeah, I was like... just, I just wanted to go. So um, the first time was Paul Muldoon and this other very talented singer-songwriter named Wesley Stace um, from England, who was a big influence on me as well uh, when I was taking that class. But um, the second time I took the class, Wes had gone off to do something else, but it was just Paul the second time. And he would often bring in guests, like guests, like lecturers or like guest people to come in and sort of sit in on the songwriting class. Because the way it worked was it'd just be groups of people um, like you, you, you'd be, I don't know, 20 people in the class or something. You break it mm -hmm. to groups of like three or maybe sometimes four or, or whatever. And you'd write a song every week. And it would be, interestingly, the prompt was an emotion. So it would be like gratitude or despair or loneliness or whatever. So it was like, that was a really great way to like spark something. It like, sounds like great exercise. Yeah, yeah. It's like, what is that? What are those words bring out in you? Like, what does that make you want to do? What does it make you think? How does it make you feel? What does it sound like? You know, it was a really interesting thing. And so he brought in, anyway, he brought in guests, uh, and one time, unbelievably, he brought in Paul Simon uh, as a oh, guest. Oh, wow. Of, yeah, of, of, Simon, of course, of Simon and Garfunkel. Yeah. And I, I mean... When I, you I, saw yeah. that they brought in Paul Simon, yeah. and, you, and it was a surprise to the students, It right? was a surprise, yeah. Did you feel that adrenaline as soon as it happened? Like, wow, this is happening. Yeah, it was, it was wild. It was one of the most significant days of my entire life. I remember it was the day. It was March 3rd, 2015. I still remember exactly what day it was. Um, and we got an email like a week before, like, oh, basically, like, oh, by the way, you know, yeah, like he's going to be here. And we were like, he oh. might drop it. He might just drop it. Yeah, he literally, it was the most casual, just like nonchalant email, like about something like that, like ever. And he, he, um, it was just like, I can't even explain that what it meant, you know, to be in the presence of someone like that, especially, I mean, per, I'm talking very personally, like just how much his writing means to me um, and how just unbelievably gifted he is and how smart he is and how wise he is. And um, anyway, relating this back to your question is why did I sort of get into doing it myself? Well, the class certainly, but then this was like a catalyst experience because, um, the song that my group had been presented uh, presenting that um, that week when he happened to be there, he liked it. You know, he had good things to say about it. That's awesome. And so I was like, "Well, if Paul Simon thinks I can do this. I might as well give it. Why not? Give right? it a shot." You know. Um, and so from there, I was like, "This is." And I like to say that I discovered I want to do it, not that I decided. Because it was more, it felt like more of a discovery than a decision. Feels sound like it felt more organic. Yeah, which it, is great. It, it felt like I was. It was like, oh, I found this. This is what I'm supposed to do. It wasn't so much like now I'm going to do this because X, Y, and Z. It really wasn't like a rational thing necessarily. Yeah, 